Imagine being completely surrounded by water and your only line of defense is an old canoe. And there's sharks in the water. And it's night time. And you're an amateur like me. Uh, yeah. I don't have to imagine. Although the conditions right now are horrible, I think the most concerning part about that list is me. The me part. You see, I'm traveling to one of the only two Everglades systems in the world to spend the night alone in a canoe. Fuck off. The only rule is, I cannot leave this canoe, no matter what. Unless it's a severe emergency, obviously. But I hope, I hope that's not gonna be the case. But an emergency might be the case because to get there, I have to cross this giant lake with no experience, no reception, and fuck all water. This is all the water I have for the rest of the trip. I'm gonna make it last. And now I gotta try and turn back around because this is, this is fucked. After about an hour and a half, I expected to be across the lake and on my way to where I would be spending the night. But in reality, I was here and struggling. I couldn't have picked a more fucked up day to do this. It's really rough. And I tried to see if there was a shortcut without having to cross this fucking lake. And uh, you really think I would be doing this if I found a shortcut? No. So if I wanted to get out of here before dark, I needed to come up with a new strategy. I just checked my phone really quick to look at the map that I downloaded and it's just made me realize how far away this place actually is. And if I keep on trying to hug close to the shoreline, it's just gonna take forever. So I'm thinking I might try and cut through the middle, which I know is probably risky, but it will probably shorten the time by at least half. Okay. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try and cut through. But because of the strong winds, it was really hard to stay in a straight line. Why won't this turn around? Come on. Come on. Come on! Fuck! Why won't it turn? Just for reference, I'm trying to go that way. Yes! Yes, that's it! No! Turn, you son of a bitch! And after what felt like forever trying to turn around, I was actually losing distance and making negative progress. One. Needless to say, I was already feeling pretty defeated. <laughs> Fuck. But once I was facing the complete opposite direction, for some reason, science just stopped working and the canoe actually turned back around with ease. But again, I was way too exhausted to celebrate, but I was definitely cheering on the inside. Okay, I can see the two markers. This was actually a great sign. Well, marker. Because it was the first time I actually knew that I was getting close. So close. Almost there. And with a small break in the wind, I reached them and could now plan my next step. I think I cut through the middle of this little island and then come back out the other side and keep going right with the uh, left, sorry. I mean right, yeah. Wait, left? Ugh, I'm too tired to think. I just gotta paddle. That's all my brain is telling me. Paddle, Joss, paddle. Ah! I'm so sick of paddling. Regardless, I was making great progress. Oh yeah! Woohoo! In fact, I even saw my first bird species. Pelicans! Yeah, they're actually everywhere. I really wonder what I'm getting myself into tonight. Hopefully it's not too bad. The face of a man who is completely defeated. There was no time to think about tonight. I had to focus on right now. But instead of cutting through the island like I planned, I decided to go around it to avoid getting lost. But this would come to backfire soon. I'm trying to look at the map, like look at it at the same time, but I don't really know what I'm looking at. It, it really looks completely different to what I'm seeing right now. They could at least make this place black and white too. Guess I just gotta keep moving. It's so quiet all of a sudden. I just gotta point out, look at how red this water is. Super red. Okay, it looks like it's opening up again. 
to another fucking lake. <laughs> oh, we must be close, guys. Right, guys? It does. I know it may sound sad, but having you guys with me on this journey definitely compensated for how completely alone I really was out here. Oh, this wind is so strong. Holy shit. I cannot wait to get to the spot. I really hope it's a lot calmer. This is shit house. Hey Finn, you want to sleep in a canoe tonight in this weather? How about canoe? No. 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 How is it going this way? No matter how hard I tried, I just couldn't get the canoe to turn back around. Fuck. I can't turn it around, this is fucked. Which, looking back on it now, I realize I was actually being given a sign. Perhaps I was going the wrong way. But without any idea of where I was, there was no way I could have known. So instead, I decided to just paddle backwards. Yes. And when I spotted a little pocket out of the wind, I took the opportunity. I can get in here. Shallow. Yes. 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 Come on. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now I've got to try and just stay straight. That's uh, that's easy. Not that there's anything wrong with not being straight. It's just that's just not. I don't, that's not for me. But, no matter how hard I tried... So I'm going backwards again. To make matters worse, I was genuinely lost. No reception, no one around, and no idea what I was even doing out here anymore. I got no idea where I am. After paddling for what felt like an actual eternity, I was pretty close to giving up. Is what I would say if I was close to giving up. Suddenly, I noticed a big opening which I figured had to be the entrance into the Everglades. Oh my gosh, is this the start of the river? All right, I'm betting on it. Let's go. Although I had the map on my phone, it was still too hard to tell which entrance was the right one. But suddenly... One. This one was just black, I guess. Not that there's anything wrong with being black. It, I just... It just scared me, that's all. But not because it's black. I, um... It... Oh fuck, if I don't die out here, I'm definitely getting cancelled. After a while, I finally figured out where I was on the map. And unfortunately, I've gone past it. This was a major blow. I realised all that struggle to get up here was basically for nothing. Well, I guess it wasn't all for nothing. This was my only other sip of water in about four hours. Not even kidding. At least going back, meant I had the wind on my side. Okay. Let's go. Now, if I had just cut through the middle of the island like I initially planned, I would have paddled past this. What am I supposed to do? This clearly didn't look like the right way. There wasn't any shrubbery blocking this part of the map, and, well, it still wasn't black and white. But you know what they say, you'll never know what's on the other side of a bunch of fallen branches blocking a small entrance to what could be an Everglades system unless you paddle up to it in a canoe that you'll be sleeping in and see for yourself. Probably someone has said that before. I can't be the first one. But if there's one thing I did learn in school, if you can't go over it, and you can't go under it, you have to go through it. Yeah, I still remember third grade. I contemplated whether or not to leave this part in the video, but I was really happy. Authenticity. Authenticity. Damn, I feel like a true Aussie person.
the hell? You could have told me my sunscreen was in my pubes. We're not there yet. But oh my gosh, we have come a long way. And to finally get to a place where I genuinely know that this feels right. <laughs> oh, it just feels so good. I just want to relax for a second. But relaxing probably wasn't an option. I still needed to paddle a long way up the river to where I'll be sleeping in the canoe. And given how much time I had already spent trying to get here, the sun could soon disappear. I also realized how much water I had been putting in the canoe every time I paddled, so I came up with a new method, and it, it seemed to be working. Along the way I spotted more birds, which were also black, um, which uh, doesn't matter. I realized why they call this place the River of Mirrors, drank some more of my water, and before long, I came across other people here too. How's it going? How are you? Not bad. Do you guys know, are the campsites up here? Yeah. yeah. Are they, how much further do you reckon? Ah, uh, you got another 10, 15 minutes at your speed. Alright, that's good to know. Been at it for a while, have you? Yeah, like... Hours. Okay, yeah. We'll be coming back your way. <laughs> yeah. Give you a tow if you need it. <laughs> I appreciate that. Cheers, guys. That felt good to talk to someone. It kind of brought me back to reality. It made me realize there's other people that actually exist, but now I just feel even lonelier. Ugh. Anyways, almost there apparently. But after about another 30 minutes... 10 minutes my ass. And another 30 minutes on top of that. Yeah, you wouldn't believe it. I'm still fucking paddling. I know I've been thinking this the whole time, but genuinely I must be so close. Like, I must be so fucking close. Is this it? Oh my gosh, yes. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yes! But the victory was very short-lived, because I was already hearing the sound of random footsteps on the land. So I did what any normal person would do, and started just making noises to try and scare whatever it was away. Woo! Ah. But after I took all my supplies out to start turning my canoe into a bed, I realized it was just cane toads hopping around. Bro, fuck off. Chuck this thong at him. He thinks he's so staunch. Yeah, that's right. Back off. Keep walking, buddy. Hey, keep hopping. I'm gonna show my mean business. Oh my gosh. It just fell down there in the water. And he didn't even move. So I guess being out here alone, I was just being paranoid. But I didn't have time to worry about cane toads. I had a bigger problem. A fair amount of water got into my canoe today, enough to not sleep in. So I grabbed my only towel and got mopping. <laughs> oh my god, this is so sad. Clearly, I'm pretty tired. Let's talk strategy. Once I get this boat anchored down, I gotta get changed, I gotta make myself dinner, and if I'm feeling up to it, not too tired, I might go for a little fish and see if I can catch a, well, a fish. Let me get my little, little... Fuck off. I just dropped the piece that connects to the anchor. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm such an idiot. So I basically threaded the rope through as much as I could, tied it off, and then, well, hoped for the best. Once everything was dry, I started making myself at home. I got changed into dry clothes, laid out a yoga mat and self-inflating mattress, which I took as having to inflate myself. I drank some more water, which was now dangerously low, grabbed my little pillow, and pretty much got settled in. But only for a brief moment. Well... This is fricked. After I eat my food, I don't know, I think I'm just gonna try and go to sleep and see if I can survive the night in this canoe. On the water. In the middle of nowhere. Look at these bugs, dude. At least I got my lighting down pat. Dude, I'm so thirsty. Like, I could skull a whole bottle of that water. But I needed to boil that water to create my dinner. <laughs> 
Yeah, I need to stop singing. This video is turning into a musical. How the hell am I gonna boil water? Consumerism. One of these that I bought. I've never used it before, so. This is going to be a first. And potentially a last. I'm never doing this again. Comment below if there's anything else I can do that doesn't involve an absolute shit show. Thank you. In advance. Little did I know, that statement was pretty much foreshadowing for what's about to happen. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that was hectic. You wouldn't believe it. Actually, by this point, I'm pretty certain today has been cursed, so it makes perfect sense that this isn't working. This is the face of a man who is completely defeated. I'm in the middle of nowhere. I can't boil my water now, which means I can't heat my food up. I got bugs inside me. I don't know what I'm gonna do now. I know what I wanted to do, and that was just go home, but there was no way of doing that. So, Instead, I shaved my face. And although it wasn't boiled, I hadn't eaten all day, so I was beyond tired and hungry to even care anymore. Just gonna try and add cold water, see what happens. Oh my gosh. I don't even know how to make light of this situation right now. This, oh, there's so many bugs, dude. That took our water to a new low. Right, I'm just gonna let this sit for like five minutes. So fast. <sighs> no, this is fucked. And although the noises were just cane toads, it still made me paranoid. What? One. There's one there behind the rope. Oh my god. Why are they coming over here? So while I was being ambushed by toads, all I could really do was wait for my food. Once I get in my sleeping bag, I might feel a bit better, a bit cozier. But yeah, I'm just waiting for my uh, my cold dinner. I don't even know if it's gonna work. It says you gotta boil it, obviously cooks it. So I don't know how cold <laughs> water is gonna cook it, but we're just, I'm too hungry to give a fuck. Let's, you know what? I can't wait anymore, let's have some. Dinner time. Yay. Ooh, I think it kind of worked. It's a bit crunchy, very crunchy. But the flavor is there. But maybe I spoke too soon. It's, it's somewhere. Well, cheers to a night in the canoe. It's very crunchy. Yeah, I, I definitely spoke too soon. There were a lot of moments today where I felt like stopping and going home. But by this point right here, <laughs> I was genuinely done. The problem was, there was zero chance of me getting out of this. I was stuck. And if I'm being more honest, pretty scared. No food, no water, no reception, and well, I got no sleep. With the combination of bugs, random noises, and how uncomfortable the canoe was, I would only doze off for a few minutes at a time. And each time, I would wake up to this. I know you can't see anything, but neither could I. It was a very strange and eerie feeling being out here, and not something I thought through before embarking on this adventure. But hey, at least I tried. Nice. Okay, those are my words of wisdom. So when I woke up in the morning from not sleeping, I did try and catch a fish, but I had no patience. <sighs> Cuckoo! Cuckoo! Is that echo? Hello! Ayo, hey, shut up. Just get out of here, please. You clearly aren't built for this shit. Leave. I just wanted to go home. If there is anything good that comes out of this trip, it's that hopefully, maybe, possibly, and even potentially, you would pretty please, with a cane toad on top, subscribe if you enjoyed that video then youtube thinks you should watch this one next chances are well i think hopefully you'll, you'll probably enjoy it too right right guys guys